Hey, what's up? Back again. first bass note hit me in the chest and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, it's your boy MB, man. And I want to talk about my, uh, my settings on top of my amplification and how my system is set up so you can truly understand the performance of these boys right here. These two G78s, both of them are D2, and both of them are powered by a Dizzle Design M2000 at one ohm. That amp does significantly more power at two. But how I have my system set up, because I hear some detractors, or people maybe they do not know, they say, man, well, of course it's doing that because you have your epicenter at, excuse me, I just moved on my leg, at three o'clock, and then you have your sub level on your head unit up well let me explain to you how your system should be set up anybody's system should be set up my system was set up like this equalization flat all right go to audio settings go to the max audio settings go to the max equalization is flat at the next point i take the remote gain knob and turn it completely over that's my rest and voltage because i have a uh diesel truck 12.8 all right i don't know if it's showing it right as you can see on my meter i also because i use a dual design zvl link i'm able to control two amps with one remote two amps with one remote so it has a clip light which blinks red and then it has a light that tells you how much power i'm amplifying as i turn the knob now when I have all, when I have this at full tilt, the setting is flat, and my sub level, which is here, at 15, I'm giving the full power that I am to whatever application of subs I'm running in the back, the entire power, whatever it can handle. I've seen very, there's only two subs that's able to handle that power uh, at that period of time, and only one could do it and survive. And y'all know who that is, the DD2508. Now it seems as though we have another competitor that can do the same thing. But before I go into all that, let me let you understand about the sub-level. My head unit goes all the way up to volume 40. Those of you who have seen the review on this thing of high 10, you know it does not clip at all. The signal never clips, even all the way up to volume 40. And I was I set my system, as the previous videos have shown you, with a Steve Mead distortion detector at 40 hertz. So by setting this at 15, the sub-level at 15, taking my, my gain knob on my remote, turning it all the way up, and setting everything flat on the equalization. Then I made sure as soon as the clip light came on, which I didn't really need to detect it because my clip light will come on on my amp. As soon as the light came on, I just, at the amplifier, at the amplifier, I just bagged the gain back down until the light went off. So I'm not I'm getting the full power of the amp not clipping as long as the subwoofer signal is at 15 and the gain knob is turned all the way up. Now I never ride with my gain knob all the way up. Most demos, well, yeah, most demos that I've given people have been with my gain knob at maybe 10, 11 o'clock position. And the sub out at 10 and that's when all the when they hear the 2508 videos whether it was whatever setup i've had in there most of the setups they can't go past maybe now nah, i'll say 12 12 but mostly between 10 and 12 with the gain knob at 10 or 11. all you can say if you want to feel good about whatever setup you liked in the past i had to gain in half but i never ever had the sub level at the full 15. There's only one sub that could do that, and it couldn't do it very long because the M2000 is a very, very powerful amp. Very, very powerful amp. But recently, and I want you to understand this, well, some say, well, you had your, epi you had your epicenter at 3 o'clock. Every setup I've ever run and then demo for anybody or made a video, my epicenter is at 3 o'clock. The epicenter is not a bass boost. It is what it says it is, a bass restore. It's restoring the lost frequencies in the system and in, inside the music 
they were lost during the recording and the tra transition in the CD or WAV file, MP3. The episode is going to bring it back. If you do not have a box that's tuned low or a subwoofer that can handle the performance, that, 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 or a subwoofer that doesn't have very good performance and it's in a box tuned low or not tuned low, when you utilize the epicenter because it comes from the factory at 33 hertz setting, if your box is tuned for the hertz, 40 hertz, and you got a device, the epicenter, that's restoring notes between 33 and under, 33 and around, with no, no, no lower than 33 coming from the factory, then you will not like the epicenter. Number one, your subwoofers will unload. You will lose bass is what most people commonly say. And I'm going to make a standalone video about that. The problem is you got a subwoofer that cannot handle what the epicenter can do or you have a box too, too high which I think a lot of you have. Do not have boxes tuned low. I tune to 33 in my enclosures, unless you tell me otherwise. My epicenter PFM restored has a 25 hertz PFM chip, chip in it. So even more lower frequencies are making it to the subs than most set up. Even more. And I'm able to control how many of those frequencies that come there with this knob. It's not a bass boost. This is just how much of the frequency do you want to restore. I ride around daily, daily at 3 o'clock position because, number one, I tune my boxes low. I have good clean power and very few setups, very few eights make it to the truck because I must know that you can handle it. Also, with that being said, the last VM demos I've been doing with the uh, G7, I've had the game here. Nine o'clock, and as y'all have seen, my sub level at thirteen. As I've previously explained to you, so if my sub level is at thirteen, I'm potentially getting three fourths the power. Three, the potential is there to get three fourths the power of the amp, as long as my gain is turned all the way over. It's not. My gain is always at been at nine o'clock, because I'm using this to break that subs in. So all the performance that you have seen from these boys have been at a power rating, yes, substantially higher than any other setup. They couldn't take that much power, but it's still low power because I'm doing the demos and the videos, not at 40, but here. And at this volume level, at this signal, what I am hearing is incredible so those of you who think oh man he's uh because you didn't hear your favorite setup or you like in particular for them them sundown fanboys if you think you got two xav3 and i don't care what amp you running and you want to come holler at these g7s let me know i have two sundown xav3s and i know for a fact this is why I had to set for the Sundown SAV3, no higher than 11. And I could take the remote gain knob to 12. Yes, it still took the epicenter in the same spot. It'll still take the epicenter in the same spot. But I can't take the power and amplifier to no higher than 12 with the setting here before after about a minute, maybe two, they start to tap out, go to popping, can't take the power. Whereas with these G7s, I'm here <laughs> and here and with some videos as y'all have seen I've gone all the way to 12 o'clock as I'm telling you and it's doing it with ease but even at volume 20 it is substantially louder than any other of my top five and the only thing that's, that's competitive with it is the DB drive 2508 but I must say in all honesty I haven't finished breaking these boys in. What they're doing right now, the boss, is impressive. I need to see how much longer they can do that. If they, my wife says, what'd you say, baby? If they actually get, if they get lower with this same level of output, like what? Just gonna tear the truck up. So, just understand this is how you're supposed to set your system. Now, until I do a demo, most of the time I'm riding around and the videos from his fourth on will be at 10. 
I will put the base now maybe at 12. It's going to start off here or no higher than half the power of the amp. Half the gain of two-thirds the power because it goes 5, 10, 15. And then that, that very little power. And it's doing the most. In fact, I'm going to meter it here in the next video so y'all can see. That. I'm going to get my, get my meter out of there, baby. Right there. Get noise in here. This thing is making me, you see that little black, yeah, round, right there. You don't see it? Yeah, that right there. Yeah. This, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to charge this back up. These boys have made me want to bring this out because it's not close what I'm thinking these boys are doing. So it's, I'm going to bring the SSA meter back out so we can really see what these, I don't know if we can call them super apes, what these boys are doing. Because it's, it's, oh, Lord. <laughs> It's woo lord. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a lot of feelings hurt around here. A seven and a quarter inch cutout. You ain't got a chance. Peace.